Okay, recently, uh, recently there's a report by the IPCC uh, which uh, give a, a, a very uh, a disne very uh, uh, interesting uh, conclusion, saying that uh, our climate is changing, and uh, uh, and most of the causes of the ch changes are because of human activities. And, uh, and, and because of this, uh, it is because they did, uh, the scientists did a lot of mod modeling and so on and so forth. So basically uh, what, what is uh, expected to happen is that in the future, our climate will be uh, more extreme. Uh, Dr. Zhu talked about flooding. So there will be more of flooding occurring uh, there also there will be a, a heat waves means that it is going to get hot hot hot, and this will be going uh, to uh, drops, and this will impact uh, a lot of people, and uh, a lot of uh, areas and so on. And now there is uh, because uh, in the in next week there will be COP uh, meeting, and and the government are trying to uh, reduce the the rate of increasing of temperatures so hopefully that 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 can happen so that uh, we don't have a uh, increase in uh, uh, temperature so basically the uh, the, the 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 impact will be as i mentioned uh, is that there will be a extreme heat more frequent and intense. The droughts will be increasing in some regions. Heavy rain, more frequent and intense. Wildfires, ocean warming. And when you talk about oceans warming, there will be an also uh, increasing in uh, storms and hurricanes and typhoon activities. So this also will be a cause of concern. So what are these impacts on the cities? Because we are talking about cities, safer cities. So some of the modeling uh, predict that uh, there will be a high probability of extreme weather events. There will be a severe droughts, water shortages. And uh, in terms of the weather, there'll be more days with high temperatures, heat waves. You know, recently we have uh, high heat waves in the Europe and also in the western part of North America, where you have a, a, what we call the heat dome, an increase in intense in temperature, and uh, this has caused uh, some uh, uh, mortality to uh, human lives. And there also be wildlife, wildfires, and wildfires will be a longer fire season with high intensity. Uh, and you have a bigger, longer uh, storm season. And in the tropical cities, there will be more uh, wetter rainy season and also uh, uh, there will be uh, uh, droughts. So this will, be, uh, this will change according to the region and so on and so forth. And also it is expected that in some cities, the, 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 there will be shift in terms of the climate regime, especially in the higher latitude, means that the, the, the uh, local climate will change. And this will have impact on the urban citizens. We know that when, when there is a high temperature, heat waves, then you have heat stress. When you have drought, you have a decrease in water supply. And then uh, we have uh, water rationing. You know, we know that in Kuala Lumpur, when we have this uh, water rationing, you know the, the, the pain and also the inconvenience that we face, you know, whatever, why in the future if this will be continuing. And then we have wildfires, loss of biodiversity and air pollution. And then we have storm and flood, flooding. And this will have very strong effect on the young and old people. So what will be the impacts on the trees? Because we are talking about trees, urban trees. So basically we need, when there is a drought, there will be changes in the physiological system of the trees. The trees will need, need, need more water. And then uh, the trees will be on stress. We know that trees living in urban environment, 
they have they are they are uh, having a lot of stress because of the urban urban environment. But when you have higher temperatures, less water, then these trees will be more stressful, and this will expose the trees to uh, pests and diseases. And uh, and this will cause uh, what we call risk of tree failures. So how we are going to mitigate and adapt to these uh, types of uh, uh, environmental change? So the bad uh, one of the approach or nature-based uh, solution is to have more urban forestry. But in the but. To try to uh, mitigate, we need to be more smart in terms of planting trees. And in, in which that we plant trees with function of cooling the city. So this will be a little bit uh, uh, specific. Now we are planting trees, you know, uh, just to have aesthetic greening. And, and but when you, in, in the future, we need to, uh, understand how cities are, are heating, which areas do, do you have, what we call it, uh, uh, the urban heat island are the most. And this can be done through remote sensing, IOTs, internet of things, and so on and so forth. And then, then we can tailor you know, certain uh, method or certain place where you need to have a lot of green areas and so, so on. And then you also need to have, you need to simulate the canopy cover and how this canopy cover can help to uh, protect from the uh, sun, sun radiation and to shade the, the area. And uh, also to increase uh, this uh, ability to uh, mitigate is to involve community involvement. This is very important because uh, urban, uh, uh, urban people who live in the in the city, they are very uh, uh, very particular, and the involvement can also help to uh, perpetuate or in, in, increase the the the, the uh, community to be involved in the planting. And also, when we talk about urban trees, urban forestry, we should not forget about the trees. Now, what kind of trees we need to plant? So in this case, we need to uh, choose trees which are which use less water, which are broad, hardy, which can withstand water uh, stress. So we need to uh, do a lot of research now to understand the tree physiology and how this tree uh, uh, perform in type of extreme weather. And we also need to uh, uh, choose trees which can stand high wind and storms. I think the research by our Dr. Chi just now is a good example on how we can uh, uh, choose trees which can withstand certain kind of condition, high winds condition. Dr. And uh, can you conclude, this, please? Yeah. Can you conclude okay. please? Okay, thank you. So we need a lot of regional experience and so on and cooperation. So I, I think with this, I, we hope that we can have a safer city with the, in the future climate. So with that uh, uh, short, uh, thank you for giving, uh, giving me the opportunity to share. Thank you very much.